Now, less than two hours ago, a jury in St. John the Baptist Parish found a prominent pastor guilty for the second time of murdering his eight-year-old stepson in 2008. Eyewitness investigator David Hammer has been covering this unusual case and filed this report from Edgard. Pastor Errol Victor Sr. sat silently in a gray suit and maroon tie as he listened to the verdict. Guilty as charged of second-degree murder for the beating death of eight-year-old M.L. Lloyd in 2008. Lloyd's biological father, M.L. Lloyd Sr., said the second verdict confirmed the first. You can't beat a child and ride off into the sunset like you haven't did anything wrong. It may take time, but justice always prevails. Victor's defense attorney, Claiborne Brown, said he would appeal the verdict when Victor's sentenced next week. Very disappointed. Um, still uh, processing it, and we're going to look over our options. Victor had to be retried because his first conviction in 2014 came from a jury that split 10 to 2. And the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in 2019 that verdicts in capital cases must be unanimous. His son, Emmanuel Victor, said he shouldn't have had to go back to trial. Thousands, thousands of people in jail right now um, behind this 10-2. That's, 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 um, that's, that's bogus. That's, in any other state, those people would be free. This morning, John Russell from the Attorney General's office told the jury of eight men and four women that Victor administered the boy a savage beating over two days because he had stolen an ice cream. Quote, he whipped ML until the little boy died. The boy's mother, Tanya Victor, was convicted of manslaughter in 2014 and is still in prison. She testified Tuesday that she was the one who whipped her son and that Errol Victor wasn't even there at the time. The couple had a blended family of 13 boys. Eight were Errol Victor's sons. One of them testified their father had a no whipping policy. My mom did it. She says she did They're not listening now. They don't care about law down here. But four of Tanya Victor's sons testified that Errol Victor did the whipping the night of March 31st and the morning of April 1st, 2008. A fight broke out in the courthouse Tuesday between Errol's sons and Tanya's sons, so sheriff's deputies in tactical gear followed them at all times during Wednesday's session. From the courthouse in Edgard, David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Judge Dennis Waldron of New Orleans presided over the case because the local judges had conflicts. He is the one who will sentence Victor next week. Victor faces life in prison without parole. Well,